Assalamu alaikum my dear students how are you hope all of you are well by the grace of almighty allah welcome to ni ebs home school this is shahzadi akhtar assistant teacher of science of national ideal english version school day shift today i am going to take an elementary science class for class 5 students my dear students our today's topic chapter 1 short question answer and cbq today's lecture number 3 and hw number 2 my dear students let's start our class this is chapter 1 <coughs> in our previous class we have learned uh, uh, 10 short question answer today we will discuss uh, from short question number 11 up to short question number 14 then we will discuss competency based question, question that is cbq 1 2 and 3 my dear students now short question number 11 what is pollination what is pollination answer Pollination is a process through which plants make new seeds and new plants grow from this, these seeds. I repeat, what is pollination? Pollination, the answer, poly, uh, what is pollination? The answer will be, pollination is a process through which plants make new seeds and new plants grow from these seeds. Short question number 12, write two names of animals which help plants in pollination answer will be pollination is a process through which plants make new seeds animals such as birds bees help plants in their pollination i repeat write, uh, write two names of animals which help plants in pollination answer will be pollination is a process through which plants make new seeds animals such as birds bees help plants in their pollination then short question number 13 write the correct sequence of food chain with eagle grass snake and frog answer will be the correct sequence of food chain that has eagle grass snake and frog is grasses then frog then snake and then eagle my dear students see <coughs> grasses is taken by frog frog is taken by eaten by snake and snake is eaten by eagle and this is the correct sequence, sequence of this food chain now come to short question number 14 how do plants help animals to breathe answer will be plants help animals to breathe by releasing oxygen in the atmosphere through photosynthesis process i repeat plants help animals in breath, to breathe by releasing oxygen in the atmosphere through photosynthesis process now come to competency based question first uh, competency based question number one using the following things make a correct sequence of food chain in and explain it the uh, food chain here given the food chain eagle grasses insects snake and frog now answer will be the correct sequence of food chain that has eagle grass grasses insects snake and frog is the correct sequence will be grasses then insects then frog then snake and then eagle that means grasses is eaten by insects insects is eaten by frog frog is eaten by snake and snake is eaten by eagle and this is the correct sequence of this food chain now we will explain the sun is the source of all energy grasses produce its own food by using the energy of sunlight through photosynthesis that means grass leaves by using the energy of sunlight insects live on live, live on grasses again frog takes insects as food and in the same way snake eats frog and eagle eagle eats snake and in this way energy flows from sun to eagle my dear students now come to competency based question number two explain why seed dispersal is important for plants answer will be seed dispersal means the transport of seeds away from the parent plant seed dispersal is very important for plants because it helps to create new colonies for plants if seed dispersal does not occur properly animals including human will suffer from scarcity of food and shelter of different animals will be destroyed many animals will be annihilated due to the scarcity of food and shelter as a result the balance of biodiversity will be hampered besides if seed dispersal does not take place properly large number of same species should, would be 
would grow at the same place and eventually nutrition of other plants would be hampered finally it can be said that seed dispersal is very important for proper life cycle of plants my dear students i repeat this question answer again explain why seed dispersal is important for plants answer will be seed dispersal means the transport of seeds away from the parent plant seed dispersal is very important for plants because it helps to create new colonies of for plants if seed dispersal does not occur properly animals including human will suffer from scarcity of food and shelter of different animals will be destroyed many animals will be annihilated due to the scarcity of food and their shelter as a result the balance of biodiversity will be hampered besides if seed dispersal does not take place properly large number of same species would grow at the same place eventually nutrition of other plants would be hampered finally it can be said that seed dispersal is very important for proper life cycle of plants now come to next cbq number three by which process plants produce food by which process plants produce food give an example how do plants help animals and write three ways to preserve plants in your locality for maintaining balance of environment answer will be by first question is by uh, which process plants produce food my dear students all of uh, we know that plants produce food in photosynthesis process the food made by plants in photosynthesis uh, photosynthesis is eaten by animals that means animal is dependent on plants for food three ways to for preserving an environment in my locality are number one to stop deforestation for building houses streets and factories number two to use other fuels instead of using wood in respect of burning brick number three to encourage all the people of our area about tree plantation my dear students i repeat this question answer plants produce produces food in photosynthesis process the food made by plants in photosynthesis is eaten by animals that means animal is dependent on plants for food three ways for preserving environment in my locality are to stop deforestation for building houses streets and factories number two to use other fuels instead of using wood in respect of burning brick and number three to encourage all the people of our area about tree plantation my dear students your today's sw number is two your today's sw number is two and broad question number sorry cbq question number two is your sw that is this cbq is your sw and submit it on saturday my dear students i hope all of you have understood today's topic properly memorize uh, and this uh, topic properly and submit your sw regularly see you again in the next class allah face